One of the biggest complaints that today's young people seem to have about the world of work is meetings. Meetings, meetings, meetings. There never seems to be an end of them, especially in larger companies. Well, maybe some of what we do at our company will be helpful to you. We're a young consulting company called Tomorrow Today, and we've tried to change the way that meetings happen in our organization and over the last 10 years have experimented with many different styles and we've settled into thinking that there are three different types of meetings. We've helped our clients to try out these three different types and uh, well they've been successful in changing a culture of meetings into a culture of productivity and efficiency and in some cases people even enjoy it. So three styles of meetings for you to think about. You can label them whatever you like, A, B, and C is what we call them. An A-style meeting is a technology-free meeting. The person who calls the meeting gets to specify that this meeting will include no technology. Laptop computers, mobile phones, Blackberries, anything that can digitally distract you has to be left out of the room. And if you bring it in, it has to be switched off and packed away. These meetings are meetings that require creativity, new thinking, cognitive engagement from everybody in the team. They typically not information processing meetings, but they are more creative meetings where we're coming up with new ideas. They also are meetings that require relationships. Uh, or relationship interventions. So some of those tough meetings you have to have when you're reviewing a project or you're dealing with somebody's attitude or behavior within your team. The reason you don't want technology is that obviously you want everybody engaged in the meeting. In our company when you have an A type meeting the person calling the meeting has to specify why no technology is brought in. That helps to give a briefing to all the other members of the team so that they are ready for this creative time or this relationship developing time that is coming up. A B type meeting allows everybody to bring in any form of technology to the meeting. And they're allowed to sit with their laptops open, connected to the internet, they're allowed to have their mobile phones on, on silent but on, and they're allowed to have Blackberries and other devices available. They're allowed to be involved in those uh, digital bits of equipment. So they can be sending and receiving emails. They can be downloading stuff off the internet. The key to a B-type meeting is that if you feel that somebody's input is specifically needed at a point, you need to just interrupt them and bring them into the meeting. In other words, this is the same as sitting with a laptop on your lap while you're watching a program on TV. You're listening with one ear, you're partly engaged, and when something interesting happens, you're able to look up and look across and engage your full attention. That type of meeting works very well when it's just a, a team meeting with a lot of different items on the agenda, or where different people are going to be involved in different parts of the meeting, but not everybody is required all of the time. That way you really get a lot more engagement, especially from the younger members of the team. And older people who are a little bit put off sometimes when young people are just banging away at their keyboards all the time, understand that this is the type of meeting it is. If you want somebody in the meeting more engaged for a time, you just draw them in and draw their attention to the meeting. Rather have them in the meeting that way than not in the meeting at all. A C-type meeting, the third type, is a virtual meeting where not everybody is required to be physically present in the room. Depending on the technology you have available in your office, you may in fact have very good digital video conferencing uh, equipment set up. But even if it's just a conference call, or better yet, use Skype and Skype conference facilities where two or three of the people in the room have their laptops open and other people are Skyping in, even through video Skype into the conversation, you get people in the room who are not in the room. Of course, these days in multinational corporations, that is becoming very much the norm, especially with this economic downturn, as we're not allowed to travel as much as we used to. Uh, this is now becoming something we've had to do. Uh, and some people are discovering they can do it. It is possible. The key is the person calling the meeting gets to decide what type of meeting it is, as well as the content and structure of the meeting as well. 
hopefully, it's just a small idea really, but hopefully an idea that you can experiment with in your office. Maybe you'll have type D, E and F as well. But we found those three, a no digital meeting, a B in the room but you can bring your computer with you meeting and a virtual meeting. Those are the only three we need in our company. It's made a huge difference to how we do meetings and how well those meetings work for us. I hope it works for you too.